All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. Understanding compression is really, really important in virtual dub because it is what allows you to make your file much smaller and still have quite a bit of quality. If you go to video compression, you can test uh, what video compressors are being used, what video encoders to be more correct. My favorite video encoders are DivX or FFD Show. By default it's uncompressed and that'll lead to some very very big file sizes if you try to save. So I recommend using DivX or FFD Show. Uh, let's try with DivX. I like DivX because it has support for dual core processors. If I go to configure I'm able to select a bitrate. Uh, bitrate is the most important part of video quality. A bitrate from 200 to, two, to 512 is pretty good for YouTube. I just have it set somewhere in the middle at 384. So it's pretty decent quality at 384. You can set it lower or higher. YouTube bitrate is around 200, but it still helps to increase the bitrate a bit, since every time you reprocess the video, it loses a little bit of quality. So set your compression to around 384 is good. Uh, for FFD Show, it's the same thing. You can just configure, and it allows me to set a bitrate. Right here I have 368, but again, I can set it to 384. Uh, make sure it's set as one pass constant bitrate. Click Apply. And I click OK, and that's it. Now I set the audio compression, too. Uh, first, I need to select full processing mode, because by default, I guess, it's direct stream copy. Now I select compression, and I use lame, lame MP3. You can try searching radium MP3 also, which is another decent MP3 encoder. Uh, right now, I currently recommend 44,000 hertz, 64 kilobits per second in CBR. Uh, CBR means constant bitrate. Constant bitrate is probably the best. ABR means average bitrate. It may make your files a little bit smaller, but connecting two videos together that are ABR is extremely difficult, so I don't recommend it. So please choose something with CBR. Click OK. And if you go to audio conversion, if, uh, for example, you didn't get the options I had, you can change uh, the sampling rate to 44,000 hertz if it was different before. And you can change the the channels to mono because YouTube uses mono. So if it says it's a stereo audio, you can change it to mono, mono and make the audio quite a bit smaller. If you choose high quality, it'll take a little bit longer to process the audio, but it'll make uh, the audio much higher quality. There won't be as many clicks and stuff like that. So click OK. You can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs>